हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद द मॉड्यूल वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग एंड एंटीना थियोरी एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द गन डायोड एंड जस्ट प्रीवियस टू दैट आई डिस्कस्ड विद द माइक्रोवेव सिस्टम हाउ द माइक्रोवेव्स आर जनरेटेड एंड हाउ इट इज रिसीव्ड इन द एंटेनास ट्रांसमीटर एंड रिसीवर एंड आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन दैट फर्स्ट वीडियो those have not seen it please go and watch it it is available in the in this playlist only the first video okay so after that in the next video i had discussed with the gun diode so what do you mean by gun diode they are basically the transfer electron devices ted and what do you mean by those transfer electron devices everything i've seen in the discussed in that video please go and watch it and uh, in this notes only i'm going to explain all of them all the notes of module 1 I have written in this uh, in a very neat manner, and this notes I'm going to pin it in the video's description also. Go and access it, read it once, and uh, because all the concepts are briefly written, explained along with the neat diagrams, which is required for you with respect to the exam point of view. Okay, so I'm not adding any extra stuff that is as it is mentioned in the textbook. How much it is necessary for you guys to study with respect to the final exam those things i have written in this notes and kept it okay that only i am explaining here so this notes i am going to pin it in the description go and access it so let us discuss with the first uh, concept uh, of this video that is gun effect okay in the previous video we have seen what do you mean by gun diodes gun diodes are basically the uh, path where the wave is propagated and the negative resistances are getting formed but what is the effect behind this negative resistance formed that we are going to see in this video with respect to the gun effect what is this gun effect and how it is affected with respect to the resistance okay and the energy gap in the previous video we have seen the energy gap taking place between the conduction and valence band and we have seen one fixed value for that that is 1.43 electron volt so how it is getting formed everything we are going to see in this gun effect okay so let us discuss now gun effect above some critical voltage corresponding to an electric field that is 2000 to 4000 volts per centimeter the current in every specimen became a fluctuating function of time okay so this means that if we have some uh, range of voltage and uh, that range of voltage if it is getting exceeded that exceeded voltage is called as the critical voltage okay so in this case it is the range of voltage is from 2000 to 4000 volts per centimeter so this is the range of electric field where the voltage is getting passed the current in every specimen become a fluctuating function so since the it is passing the range and it is coming to a point where some critical voltage is getting uh, pointed out so when that critical voltage is getting reached we could be seeing the fluctuations in current okay that is the fluctuating function of time so in this case the gallium arsenide that is the material which is used in teds the specimen this fluctuation took the form of a periodic oscillation superimposed upon the pulse current that is so whatever the current is getting fluctuated that is getting for that is converting into such a way that the waves are getting formed and those waves are getting formed periodically okay that is mentioned here that is this fluctuation took the form of periodic oscillation superimposed upon the pulse current superimposed means it is getting affected and it is getting uh, initiated okay so the frequency of oscillation was determined mainly by the specimen not by the external circuit so the external circuit which is uh, uh taking place that is not getting affected but whatever the frequency of oscillations which are uh, taking place with respect to the critical voltage those would be determined mainly by the external circuit okay the period of oscillations was usually inversely proportional to the specimen length and closely equal to the transit time of electrons so what do you mean by transit time means transit time means that is a fixed time where the electrons would be getting passed between the electrodes 
calculated from their estimated velocity slightly over 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second okay so this is the drift velocity estimated drift velocity which you have seen in the previous video for a negative resistance that is 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second or 10 to the power 5 meter per second so the peak pulse microwave power delivered by this uh, gallium arsenide uh, component specimen to a matched load was measured value as high as 0.5 watt at 1 giga cycles per second this is a microwave power which is initiated for that is 0.5 watt at 1 giga cycles per second that is uh, it is all it can be also written as 1 gigahertz and 0.15 watt at 3 giga cycle per second or 3 gigahertz okay so this is uh, these two are not different these two are same words giga cycles per second and gigahertz just in that in the, in the textbook it is mentioned that giga cycles per second so that's why i have written it as giga cycles per second you could be also writing it as gigahertz okay it's one and the same were found corresponding to 1 to 2 percent of the pulse input power okay so it this means that the microwave power generated from the critical voltages applied from the fluctuating current is only in range of 1 to 2 percent of the pulse input power okay so that means that the input power is very much higher than the propagated microwave power because the name itself suggests microwave power okay the power would be in very very small range that is here in this case it is a 0.5 watt at 1 gigahertz okay so if it is 0.5 watt at 1 gigahertz at 1 hertz it would be around 0.5 microwatt right not even 0.5 micro it would be less than that that is 10 to the power minus 7 or something right so it is very the range of power is very very less in case of microwave power that is approximately 1 to 2 percent of the input power okay so let next let us see criteria in order to exhibit this negative resistance so these are a few criteria which you need to be following in order for exhibition of the negative resistance first is delta e that is the change in electric field should be greater than kt okay that is kt in this case they, are, they have mentioned it as 0 0.026 electron volt delta e should be greater than or equal to 0 0.06 electron volt in other words absence of a biased electric field most of the electrons have the are present in the lower value okay lower value means where the energy gap is very very less okay in this case it is 0 0.026 electron volt so that, that was the first criteria second criteria delta a should be less than the energy gap that is eg okay so this eg represents the energy gap which you have seen in the previous video third criteria the electrons in the lower valley must have high mobility that is eu should be less than e okay so these are the criteria to follow the negative resistance so you see here this is the j versus e plot so where j stands for conduction current and e stands for electric field with respect to the negative resistance how it is getting affected you see here there are different regions which you need to be knowing one is the threshold conduction current jth so this is jv okay uh, that is a drift conduction current so this is EU that is the lower value electric field ETH threshold electric field EV and EU okay so where the negative resistance how it is uh, taking place and uh, where are the changes taking place and at this point you see here from this point if we don't have a constant resistance in this case it is getting dropped but in case if we don't see the drop that region where the resistance is not dropped is called as original bulk resistance value okay so if the resistance is not getting dropped in the gun effect and it is continuously flowing in a constant direction upwards that is in the positive direction then that resistance is termed as bulk resistance okay so that only i mentioned here this plot here you see here so this is the continuation only where it is not dropping at one point it is just flowing in a straight direction that is called as the bulk resistance okay so with respect to upper valley and lower valley they have mentioned this uh, graph here one is for e less than eu where and e between eu and e eu greater than e okay for different valleys so these diagrams are there so please note it down okay so this was in brief about gun effect i hope you understood this gun effect and gun diode so if you want to understand this gun effect very thoroughly you should be 
trying to understand what do you mean by gun diode okay so yeah just note it down once now let us see with one more concept and few problems with respect to the conductivity okay so how the conductivity expression is given and uh, some problems are solved based on this conductivity that uh, i have already solved it i'm just going to explain it okay so conductivity formula it is given by this is sigma conductivity sigma is given by e where e is the electric charge mu l nl plus mu u nu okay where mu is the electron mobility and n is the electron density okay so this formula you need to be noting down very very important okay so this formula please don't forget it sigma is equal to e times mu l nl plus mu u nu where mu stands for electron mobility and n stands for electron density e stands for electric charge so with respect to this formula we have i have uh, solved few problems here you see here first is an n type gallium arsenide gun diode has the following parameters okay like this the problem should be asked so please uh, go through it where uh, the following parameters they have given it as n that is electron density they have given it as 10 to the power 14 per cm cube then we have nl that is mentioned as 10 to the power 8 per cm cube okay then nu nu is given by 10 to the power 6 per cm cube that is upper valley okay uh, this is for lower valley and L stands for lower valley and U stands for upper valley. Okay. Then temperature is given by 330 Kelvin. So temperature and all uh, <coughs> does not does not play a role. Here they have told us to determine the conductivity of the diode. Okay. Apply the formula. Electric charge. You should be knowing the value of electric charge uh, until now. You have studied physics, right? The standard value of electric charge is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. Okay. That I have substituted here. Then mu L mu l and mu u mu l they have given it as 0.8 and mu u they have given it as 0 0.018 okay substitute that and uh, solve it and we are going to get the conductivity in range of 0 0.012 into 10 to the power minus 6 mo per meter okay this is ultra ohm symbol that is mo mho okay that is uh, the inverse of resistance conductivity so the value is around 0 0.012 micromometer just uh, go through it and uh, this is one more one more problem so this is very easy direct problem so this is not required if you want to see this in the uh, notes which i have uh, pinned in the description okay so this is not so important so that's why i will not cover it so that's all for the video guys in this video i have discussed i have brushed up with the concept of gun effect with respect to the gun diode and the concept of conductivity okay where we have seen the formula uh, how what are the parameters mentioned here mu stands for electron mobility n stands for electron density and we have seen one problem here okay so that's all for this video guys in the next video we are going to actually start our syllabus of module one important concepts okay so these are the some introduction part about uh, microwave devices all these things which I have discussed till now, microwave system, gun diode, gun effect, all these things are introduction. Actual concept, actual syllabus would be starting from the next video where we are going to discuss about the voltage and current equation with respect to the transmission lines. Okay, what do you mean by transmission lines? Everything we are going to see in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Don't miss our videos guys because this subject is very important, very tricky subject. But if you understand it very thoroughly, easily you could be scoring marks. Okay this notes is very very good it and it is well and good to score good marks okay so stay tuned don't skip any part of the videos don't miss our videos guys inform all your friends that video academy is uh, regularly providing videos and we will be promising you that now from now onwards we are going to regularly upload all the videos okay so that's all guys like this video support us subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next video thank you